Okay, uh, so now it's time to get rid of this uh, temporary fan that I used to test with false ventilation to get rid of uh, condensation, which works fine. So I bought a Noctua fan, uh, which is uh, much more powerful, removes more air, and uses less power. So first thing to do is just get rid of that. So that's just switch off that power supply, undo that, and then just rip that out. I just used uh, tape to put that in temporarily. So that's got rid of that, get rid of that tape. So just to remind you, there's the fan, and I've got some standard uh, 80 millimeter fan mounting holes. So I'll just grab the uh, Noctua fan and uh, we will put that in place. Okay, so there's the uh, Noctua fan, which I did an unboxing of uh, yesterday or the day before, I think. So if I just, uh, if I just get that on there, so that's screwed on nice and neatly. You can see the screws just at the back there. They also have these little rubber mounts on, which is good for a vibration uh, cancelling. So I've put the output at the back and I've just run the lead down temporarily for now and plugged it into the power supply. So let's go ahead and switch this on and uh, test the fan. There we go, running perfectly and unlike the other one is super quiet. So just as a reminder, this removes 55 and a half cubic meters of air every hour, spins at 2200 RPM, and best of all, only takes about 0.75 watts of electricity. I've also got myself this fan cover. Uh, so again, I can put that on there and that will protect the fan blades. Um, from me probably when I'm working in the cabin later. So let's go ahead and put that on Okay, grills on Installation is all finished So uh, I've just run the USB cable Just loosely at the moment. I'll pin that all down and uh, let's just switch this back on That's that I'll leave that running 24 hours a day as I say, this thing costs at current electricity rates about £1.60, £1.70 to leave on 24 hours a day, and that would be the charge per year. But I might do some kind of fan controller, mount something up here, uh, some IoT device, maybe a Z-Wave device uh, or a Wi-Fi device connected up to a temperature and condensation sen uh, sensor. Then I can work out the dew point and only have this fan come on uh, when condensation is likely. Uh, I'll come back with that if I get around to doing that. So uh, hope you enjoyed the update and uh, if you did please consider subscribing and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care everybody.